My name is Robert Gibson. I'm an enforcement manager with the Upper Great Lakes Enforcement Unit. We're here today in the, the vessel called the Gilfie 2. Uh, we're out on uh, a typical fall day in Georgian Bay here. The bay that we're in today is the, the Owen Sound Bay. Some of the things we're doing today is looking for sport fishermen that are out on the water here today. Thunder Bay Coast Guard, Thunder Bay Coast Guard, Thunder Bay Coast Guard, the Gilpie, the Gilpie, the Gilpie on Channel 16. Other things we'll be doing is uh, looking for commercial fishing activity. Also the officers will do dock sites inspection with those commercial fishermen. The reason why we're down here today is just to ensure that uh, the commercial fishermen are in compliance with uh, the regulations that are set out in their, in their conditions of the license and that's spelled out in the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Act. So how's it going today Rick? Good. Good? How's fishing? Good. Good. Just perched today, or you got a mixed bag? Just perched. Okay. See some suckers in there too. And when Good. we're down here checking compliance, we're doing a boat in inspection. And when we're doing this boat inspection, we're checking the gear that is on the boat and also the fish that are being landed today to see if they're in compliance with the, their commercial fishing license. We'll take a couple more net measurements there. Uh, we're measuring the nets to see if they're in compliance with the regulations. So they have to be two and a quarter or 58 millimeters. So. All the nets are measuring that, so they're in compliance. And they also will be uh, inspecting the, the general condition of the vessel itself, and the cleanliness of that vessel, and the handling practices of those fish that are being uh, handled on those vessels. It's ensuring that the product that is being delivered to the consumers is a good, safe product. And when they verify the catch, uh, they're verifying that that information that they have recorded on their daily catch report is true and accurate. The daily catch report upon landing must be submitted into one of these DCR boxes. And these DCR boxes uh, will be opened up and we will check the information on those DCRs in, in relationship to what's on the, on the vessels there to see whether they match up. Once the, the fish are landed uh, at the docks there, um, the fish are then transported by a, a vehicle to a, a plant. The officers will be also doing plant inspections. How are you today, Scott? Good. You're doing up some uh, fish, are you, today? Yeah, a little bit. How's birch fishing been this year? Oh, incredible. Yeah. Looks like you got some nice fish. Mm -hmm. When they go in to do a plant inspection, again, they're looking at the cleanliness of those plants. We're also checking that the facilities that they're using is in compliance with the Fish Inspection Act. We're also inspecting their tables, what they're cutting the fish on, the machine that they're, they're putting the fish through, and things such as their knives are all in compliance uh, to the Fish Inspection Act to ensure that they are not contaminating those fish so the consumer is insured of a good safe product. Hi today Winston. Pretty good. We're here to do an inspection on your plant today. Good morning, Winston. Yeah. And uh, to learn a little bit more about your processing plant here. So if you okay. want to take us through and show us what you're doing today. And this machine actually fillets the, the white fish. It drops onto the conveyor, drops into this tray, yeah. when it's loaded into these bus pens and taken into the cooler to maintain the temperature. Okay. So, uh, obviously we wanted to just go and, and do a quick uh, check of your books there. And what I want to see uh, Winston is the purchase. Okay, these are the uh, records from yeah. shows the weight. Just in the boxes. As well as enforcing the, the commercial fishing uh, duty, we also enforce the sport fishing um, that occurs in the Great Lakes. Need a hand there? Today we're down in here along the Sydney River in the city of Owen Sound. We're checking the anglers along the, the Sydney River. 
we check uh, recreational anglers to ensure that the, the resource is protected and uh, for future generations. And we're also checking their uh, any of the catch today to, to ensure that they're in compliance with the Ontario Fisheries Regulations. Where are you from there, sir? I'm originally from Elmer, but I reside in Tilsonburg. Oh yeah. What we're doing is checking their licenses. Good. Everything looks like it's in order there, Sean. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank yep. you. Thanks for your help. Other things uh, the officer will find themselves doing here, they will also be looking at enforcing other legislations and that the officer could find themselves um, enforcing legislations around the, the hunting activities that uh, could be occurring out here um, today. We've got a variety of uh, small islands out in Georgian Bay. Um, the officers will be uh, stopping in at those islands and um, speaking with the people on those islands doing some inspections um, around the, the hunts that are going on at this time of the year. You had a couple of things hanging in there. Yeah, there's a couple of forks. And uh, one of the hunts that are going on at this time of the year is the uh, white-tailed deer hunting, and they'll be uh, inspecting uh, the hunters uh, in accordance to the laws around the hunting of white-tailed deer. The conservation officer is basically the frontline person for the Ministry of Natural Resources. Their main duty is to protect the resources for the people of the province of Ontario.